Hey, Eurovision fam, it's Alicia Michelle. I'm so excited to be reacting to Russia's first rehearsal in Rotterdam. Okay, let's talk about this. You probably already heard some people talk about it. So at the beginning of it, she comes out with basically looking like a Russian nesting doll um, and it moves on its own or maybe she's just walking in it. Um, I love it. It's kitsch. It starts off interesting. And I'm just gonna give like a little heads up. For people who are longtime subscribers of me, they know how I get with songs that I really like, songs that I want to be in the final. I start to nitpick. So for those of you who are new, you might be like, why are you saying all of this? It's because I love this song and because I want this song to be in the final. Okay, so I'm gonna nitpick. So buckle up. <laughs> And also, if you're new, if you've never been, um, if you've never subscribed to my channel, hello, uh, welcome. You should subscribe. Um, uh, yeah, let's just get into my reaction off of this first one. So uh, I love how we start with her in sort of this like nesting doll outfit that looks like it's sort of moving on its own. She might actually just be controlling it, um, but I love it. Here's the issue though. After she comes out of it, it's still in the middle of the stage. Once she's out of it, I need a stage hand, an intern, a PA, somebody to come out and drag it off the stage. It should not be there. Um, it should not be there. Someone says, how is Alicia watching the rehearsals? I have online accreditation. There's an online virtual press room. So yeah, Pascal says, I'm a bit irritated by the huge just standing around for the whole song. Exactly. I don't know what PA, intern, stage hand, volunteer. I don't know. I don't know. Somebody needs to be assigned to removing it from the stage. Also, another thing that I noticed was when we first started, um, you can see one of the backing vocalists in the, um, like in the frame of her. Uh, uh, we need to start off the performance with her just in the dress. It kills the illusion a little bit. We need to start off with just her. And the thing is, she's so charismatic. She's going to pull people instantly. Those first 15 seconds are so key. And Russia knows what they're doing with the staging. But I will say this. You know, this is one of Russia's, personally, I think one of their best and strongest entries of the past 10 years. It's stronger than what they gave us in 2019. And I feel like 2019 had more budget and you had a whole year to save up a little bit of coins for this performance. I feel like they're playing my girl a little bit. I feel like we need a little bit more budget. It looked very much so like the national selection and I wasn't ex exactly expecting it to look so much like the national selection. She's still sort of coming out and has like her backing vocalist sort of like around her and they're sort of doing this um, thing. I don't know if I necessarily needed that for this performance. Um, I like the energy that they're all kind of feeding off of each other. So I guess there's that. And I don't know, that might just be the best, best way to interpret it on the stage. Um, someone said, where do you watch the rehearsals? I, I am accredited. So I'm watching um, from the online press room. So it's as if I were there in Rotterdam, sitting in the press room, watching the performances from like the screen but I'm just doing it here in DC. Um, Mikey Mata says, I don't think it will qualify. Honestly, this, this performance run through, I think it's qualifying. Like, and I, and when I sort of put it into qualifying in my prediction category, I did it honestly because of that charisma, because we know that there's gonna be some kitsch that Russia was going to add to it and they did. And I think they did it in a way. There's one moment where there's sort of this zoom background at the and you see like all of these, I'm assuming Russian women from all different backgrounds, young, old, we've got some kids in there and this zoom background kind of goes out and everyone's just sort of looking at this huge LED screen filled with the faces of Russian women. It's a really, really nice moment. I think it's really impactful. It's a good use of like sort of zoom and honoring this moment that we are in right now and bringing in fans. It, it looks really, really good. I like it. Um, one thing I am worried about it though, because it is fully in Russian. The thing is, I love this song. Looking at the lyrics of this song, it is so poetic. And I think people at home are just gonna think like, oh, every Russian woman needs to know, which you're strong enough to break against the wall, you know? Um, and, and that's the core of it. 
but there are so many beautiful just lines lyrically in that song that no one's really gonna get if they don't speak Russian or if they don't bother to look at the translation. And a part of me almost was kind of like, oh, I wish that they sort of had subtitles on it just to kind of drive home the true artistry and message of this song. It's so good, it's so good. I was really happy with this run through, but I will say there are little things in it that are annoying me a little bit just because I feel like they could be doing more for my girl. You know what I'm saying? Like they could be doing more for my girl. I don't think it necessarily needs pyro or anything, but like, you know, the dress could move on its own. Russia got budget for that. They got Russia. They they got they got budget to make Russian woman truly a lock qualifier. But honestly, I think it's going to qualify. Let me hop into these comments. Axe host, do you think that they should do like Italy 2018 have lyrics on screen? Yes, um, because here's the thing: they have these moments where it's like they have these buzzwords like "be creative," like you know you're strong, like. But that to me is not as impactful as just throwing up some of those lyrics that, you know, native, um, that people who aren't native Russian speakers would maybe miss. Um, only Nanette Kando, do you think the delegation is somewhat trying to bury this entry after the backlash by the Russian public? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Ahmed says this will be a shock non-qualifier. Here's the thing. It wouldn't really be shocking if it didn't qualify because most people have been saying that it wouldn't qualify. I think it, I think the buzz of it qualifying has really been relatively recent. Um, yeah. Angelo Daddy says the whole press center was clapping. I mean, it's such an impactful performance. And really the impact of that is Manesia. She's phenomenal. She really, really, really is phenomenal. And honestly, I do think that this is qualifying. Someone asked, um, uh, you know, someone said that they they thought, so Nil Era said, I hope juries won't trash Manesia. I don't think that they will. I think the message of this song is so strong. I think the fact that it does kind of have this like punchy element to it really helps it. I, mm, yeah, Ben uh, Wolverson says the juries are gonna love the performance. It's the televote that may be the issue in the final. I actually tend to agree with that. I'm more nervous about how the larger European public will consume this. The juries I actually think are going to like this. That's honestly why when I did my prediction and I was like, crap with some of the songs that I'm like, are gonna qualify that I don't wanna see qualify. And then leaving a lot of my favorites kind of on the docket. I was like, I think of my favorites on the docket. I have the confidence for Russia. Honestly, again, it's because of Manesia. It's because of her. It's her charisma. Um, Lodhosta, is Slovenia not totally squeezed between the energy from Lithuania and Russia? No, it's squeezed. It's squeezed. Mm -mm. Um, uh, Benjamin G, the real shock non-qualifier -qualif that's possible in the semi is Romania. You know, I love Romania song. It is one of my favorite songs this year. And even when I did my prediction video, I was like, I left Romania kind of on the borderline, which is tough for me to do. And I even left uh, Ukraine on the, on the borderline. But honestly, I, I don't know. I, I just know we're going to lose so many good songs. Um, I just know we're going to lose so many good songs. And Ukraine, Russia, and Romania are some good songs I don't want to lose. I don't want to lose Ireland. But Ireland, I actually think is qualifying. And, and Romania, I began to feel nervous about like two weeks ago. Like two weeks ago, I was like, hold on, wait. I'm not really hearing a lot of buzz for Romania like I was even last year. Last year, I was hearing a ton for Alcohol You. And honestly, I think Amnesia is better than Alcohol You. But I don't know. I've already deviated. Um, honestly, with Russia, just to encapsulate this, I really like this was a strong first rehearsal. Um, I think there's some little things we need to clean up. In the beginning, of the song, we need the camera angles tight on Manesia. I don't want to see any backing vocalists. 
We need to start off those first 15, 20 seconds should just be her. I don't want to see anybody else on stage but her. And then when she comes out of her outfit, I need a stagehand, an intern, a volunteer, a PA, somebody to come out and get that outfit off the stage. It should not be on stage the entire performance. I don't know who in the dry run let that slide, but it should not be happening. And also, I don't know. I, I think that there should be a little bit more budget thrown behind this. Maybe we could get some fire. I don't think we necessarily need fire, but I don't know a time when pyro or fire has hurt anything. Okay. Well, other than, you know, like burning, but you know what I'm saying? In a performance, let's bring out the fireworks. Okay. And really, really set the stage ablaze and solidify the, the qualification that this song deserves. Okay, well, that was my reaction. What do you think? Talk to me in the comments below. Do you agree with my reaction? Talk to me in the comments below. Do you have some questions about the performance? Please hop in the comments. I will be uh, responding to the comments uh, on these videos throughout the day since we have tons of like breaks since we don't get to see the first run um, of the rehearsal uh, for the artist, which I think actually makes sense. I think it's almost kind of crazy that we see these first rehearsals. Anyway, honestly, I think it'd be fine just showing the press the second rehearsal. You know. Let them have like a full three runs like by themselves. But I, I can't complain because I'm deprived of content and um, I need this Eurovision content. And so do you. So be sure to like, be sure to subscribe. I'm going to be giving you reactions videos like this uh, uh, after each uh, rehearsal. And then, of course, tonight, well, not night for me, afternoon for me, but for tonight for you all, I'll be doing a whole uh, recap of everything. So buckle up because these next four days are going to be crazy. Yes, I was up at 3.30. Actually, I woke up a little bit before my alarm. That's how hype I was. I woke up at 3.15 and then I got out of bed at 3.30 so I could beat this face, get my lights set up and be here with y'all. Oh my goodness. I don't know. I think it's starting to set in. It's starting to set in that this is real. I can't, I like, I'm, I'm still sort of in disbelief, but thank you for joining. Okay, stick tight. Yeah, I'll be back. <laughs>